I'm Dr. Katherine Early, the Barbara Brown Chair of Ornithology here at the Science Museum of Minnesota, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. So, I'm going to take a breath to answer that, and as I do, I'm inhaling the air that has all this oxygen, and then exhaling the air that no longer has oxygen, or at least doesn't have as much oxygen, because my blood has picked it up in my lungs. So my the oxygenated air, like the stuff we want, has to go in the same path as the deoxygenated air. But birds have this system of air sacs along with their lungs that actually makes it so the air only flows one direction through the lungs and then it goes out through the air sacs. And so instead of having to take an oxygenated and deoxygenated air across the lungs, birds only ever have oxygenated air. So the air that we want to deliver the oxygen to our blood going through their lungs. Um, so it's pretty efficient. And we were often considered this to be like just a bird trait. But recently, some researchers have started to find evidence of at least some what we call unidirectional, so one direction airflow, like in birds in um, other reptiles like uh, monitor lizards and maybe even in alligators, but definitely not in humans. We are stuck with that bi-directional airflow. 